You kids, and I do mean you kids, are accusing me of cheating on my wife? This is nonsense. I don't even know why I'm here. <sighs> Mr. Davis, I asked you once to be upfront with us, and you chose not to. Detective Lawson, Mr. Davis says he has no idea what we're talking about. Can you get in here, please? Mr. Davis, do you know what this room is for? This room is for cheated spouses. We want to give you a chance, so we placed you here. What's... what's going on? Taylor. We have enough evidence here to make your wife leave you forever. Do you love your kids, Mr. Davis? Of course. Of course I love my kids. They're my world. Well, let us show you how life will be once your wife gets these pictures. You say you have an eight and six year old girl. This is how your life will be just as once. Imagine Amari and Miss Rosalind as your kids. Dad. I know we can be expensive and get on your nerves sometimes, but we're even more expensive now. You have to pay mom $700 every month, and that means you can't afford to buy your own place. You lost custody of us, and now you're living with your brother Javaris. I don't like coming over there, Dad, because he keeps the place dirty. Who's going to teach me how to play baseball? Oh, I guess I had to ask Mr. Williams to teach me. Who, who is Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams is the guy that's been coming by the house to make sure Mom doesn't need any help. And he plays with us when he visits. No, no. I will not have another man raise my family. Mr. Davis, my father did the same thing you did. He lost my mom, my sister, and me. We, he pays so much money, he could barely make it. We don't see him much anymore. We are being raised by our stepdad, Raymond. Miss Kringle, my name is Angie Jones. And this is Attorney Anson, and he's a real victim. Attorney? What, am I being sued? It depends on this investigation. Plus, being sued is the least of your worries. If what we assume is right, you will be in prison for a very long time. Now, wait just a minute and get Chief Agent Thomas here on the phone. Find out if this is legit. Yes, sir. This is Mr. Kringle. I have some kids in my office who claim to work for you. Is this for real? What? Let's get down to business. Mr. Kringle, we, know, we have had you under surveillance for a long time now. We know you met with this man several years of time. Well, he's just a friend I met a long time ago. He comes to check on properties here in the States and we go out to lunch sometimes, no big deal. What's his name? Christopher Alexander. Look, can I offer you kids some cookies or something? No, thank you. All you can offer us is honest information. Well, it'll be a mad minute before I can get the bottom. I bet you come clean now. What do you kids want from me? You can start by telling us why you scared of so many kids? You see $25 million, you did nothing to help kids. Mr. Kringle, it's crooked people like you that makes it hard for people to help kids. 